morning guys so uh, today started off real rainy there was so much hail and so much rain for about 30 seconds and I could not hear anything and I was thinking you know what I'm glad I live in Perth because that's not gonna stay around for very long for all you OG watchers uh, you might notice something different I did it yesterday and I know it was bothering a few people but it is all fixed now we have a roof lining. I got a new one and it looks way better. It's missing a few uh, plugs but we'll sort that out when I get home because I did it last night uh, just before the rain set in and I was just rushing it because I didn't want to get the card wet um, otherwise it, it probably would have peeled itself off again so now. Yeah. The weather at the moment is super patchy it's raining for five minutes and then it stops raining but um, this cloud looks like it's gonna be around for a while so yay rain well it's absolutely pouring now so um, yeah and and it's dry again like dry dry like it was raining and now it's dry today has literally just been rain dry rain dry like and when i say dry it's like cooking hot to the point where like i'll be sweating and my head is burning because it's so hot and then it goes back to this stuff this sucks so uh finally enough it's um sunny enough for me to put my hat back on and my glasses guess what it's raining again and it was sunny 10 seconds ago take my jacket off rain put my jacket on sun take my jacket off rain literally no joke just like that it is blue skies again and look i'm not making this up like there's all the water it came down like that i can't click in this jacket <sighs> uh, i think that's enough filming the weather i'll see you guys in a second i watched a few videos before about a guy that unblocks drains for a living I assume I don't know but he does a lot of unblocking drains I found a block drain so I'm uh, I might unblock it found a drain and it's blocked look at that that's feral And when we're here, I guess we'll take this lid and throw away this bottle. <laughs> What's up guys? So we finished work and it's not raining anymore. But I think we're going to change the uh, name of the channel to uh, What Did Cy Buy? Because um, on the way home, I brought some uh, drums. So this is basically going to be the starting point of uh, the filters that I'll be making. These ones are only small. I say small, but they're pretty large. But um, I'd like to upscale it quite a bit, like quite a bit. So, yeah, let's go home. These are the tubs that I got. Um, that's had rainwater in it. That's had rainwater in it. And apparently this is, um, she was using it to store chicken feed. So, um, there was a funny smell coming from one of them. But I opened them all up and smelt them and there was no smell in them so i think she might have cleaned the outside with something so hopefully it's good if not i will be cycling these quite a bit with a bunch of uh caps just to get them all cycled through uh not only cycled through but just tumbled around quite a bit just to get anything loose off loose little bits of plastic um any gunk that's in them i will be soaking them and changing out the water quite regularly but yeah, so I think I think they'll be all right by the time we get to them because they, they were collecting rainwater in them. So yeah, I don't know. Should be all right. So I've jumped back in my car and I can still smell it. So um, what 
if I got it in my car? It smells like like degreaser or soap. I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to find it. Hmm. But we're off to Bunnings because a couple of the light bulbs are blowing in the animal room and I've run out of replacements. So let's go get them heat. Eventually I'll learn uh, not to trust myself to come to Bunnings because um, we're starting to rack up some dollars here. <laughs> In Australia, we have the uh, complete wrong weather for everything. It's um, Halloween tonight, and it is absolutely pouring down at the moment. And there is hail as well, so, um, yeah. Uh, somebody's yelling at me as a little kid. Look, I'm getting pelted with hail. I mean, that's probably because my window is down and that, that's, that's mainly my fault, but I don't like driving with my windows up. That's probably why my interior and none of my buttons ever work uh, for very long in my cars. Hmm. So this is the uh, $17 worth of um, fittings. It was like $19 worth of fittings. So um, I've got to find somewhere better to go and uh, not spend squillions of dollars on plumbing for the ponds because this is gonna get expensive. I've actually got a giant bag of fittings um, that have a bunch of these, like heaps of them. Thankfully, I never paid the full price for them, but they are worth a fortune. There is, there is 50, well, there's exactly 52 of them because that's how many tanks there was for those green stands so yeah but anyway so what we're gonna do is we are going to drill this try and find roughly the middle which is like there ish I think ish there and then we're going to use the Christmas tree bit this bit the whole extender -y thingy thingy Bobby and drill that hole two sides but first you got to drill a pilot hole so Let's get on to that. Now we've got the painful part, which is always the first hole of wrecking something. Um, let's, let's make it bigger. <laughs> We're gonna keep double checking that we're not going too big because it um, chews through this plastic quite easily once it gets to the end bit and you'll jump two holes at a time without realizing especially when you're staring at a camera ah, I'm gonna put the phone down so I don't mess this one up too badly I didn't mess it up. We actually got it so tight that you can thread it in there. So that's pretty good. It means that it will be a snug fit. I'm going to mock this up and I will be back in a second. So we managed to do it. It's starting to get late, but um, I think even without any tape or anything, this thing is almost ready to go. So that's basically what it looks like. It's quite long sticky outy because I didn't cut it yet, but um, we'll go this way. So I didn't cut it yet, uh, but I can cut it eventually. But what it is, is it goes, boop, tap. Obviously that's a drain. And then it goes in here. And then because I didn't want to go too low, because with the other pond when we went too low, where the thing was with the big fitting, I had a few problems. I put an elbow in with a joiner that brings it lower to the bottom and and I can either extend that or cut it shorter if I need to, so I can suck the stuff off the bottom when we're cleaning it. But just a quick insight into what this is gonna look like. It'll look like that. There is a um, clamp that holds the lid on the top, but for what we're using, it's not gonna be rolling around. Give me a second. Sorry about that loud noise. Uh, it's not gonna be rolling around and nothing's really gonna pull it off, so we don't really need to use the clamps, but. It's not being washed out, it's not had anything done to it, but let's just 
tip some of these lids in there to see how many bottle caps I'm actually gonna need. All right, I'm gonna try not to mess this up because it's very hard to hold this with one hand. I'm trying to pour them in there. To go around and pick them all up. Bam, 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 um, if not three times that amount for each of these. And if I do them at this size, then I'm probably gonna need maybe 10 or 20. Or if I go bigger, obviously. Right, we need a lot of lids, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm getting distracted now, but we're doing it. I'm putting some water in there because I, uh, because I can. <laughs> Just watering them to see if they grow. This is gonna take forever. Away from the shore, amongst the waves, exactly where I wanna be. I am where I wanna be. Remember the star. So it seems to be holding water fine for now. Um Obviously, if it leaks a tiny bit here, I'm not too fussed about it because uh, it won't drain a pond. So, yeah, there's a decent amount in here. Um, that's actually quite thick, so. I've also been doing quite a bit of research on the types of plastic that these um, these lids are and what, what can be easily recycled. So the uh, little triangles with the numbers in them, they have a meaning. Obviously, I've known this, but I didn't know what any of it, anything meant. But the um, two that we have in this one and in quite a few of these ones in here can be quite easily recycled in your own house. And the two stands for high density polyethylene, e ethylene, ethylene. Man, I am terrible with words, whether it's animals or plastics. So I'm sorry. Um, so we might actually dig through these and try and find out like most of the milk caps and most of the milk bottles. Well, I think all milk bottles um, will contain whatever, the plastic milk bottles. I think they're all made out of the same stuff. So, if we can get a bunch of that, we might be able to do uh, some more cool projects and maybe incorporate the uses for these plastics, um, recycle them for animal uses. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you'd like to see anything about that. And if not, well, I'll probably do it anyway because I've always wanted to make a shredder that I can shred plastic with. And if I'm gonna recycle these, I'll be making a shredder. Um, yeah, as long as I can get the money for it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to lock this up so uh, the kids and the dog don't get into that one. And um, we'll see if there's any wet spots down there tomorrow morning. Alright, well I really think I'm going to regret this, but I've been saying that I was going to finish the hole for the pond. Um, tomorrow, it is 100% getting done. God damn it, why did I say this on video? Rain, hail, or shine, I'm going to be digging that hole. Um, where If it is raining, raining, I won't be able to put the pond in, which is a bit of a bummer. But um, if it's not raining heaps, then we will be able to put the pond in. But I'll definitely have the hole dug out tomorrow. I don't know why I said that. Because I've been meaning to do it, but it's been wet and I've been working. Should have done it while it was dry. All right, guys, take it easy, stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.